Today we're going to be talking about the writing crisis. I'm Jean Reynolds. We spend our lives surrounded by words. Language, both spoken and written, makes everyday life happen. Whether you're enrolled in school or climbing the career ladder, you probably spend much of your time speaking and writing. We start acquiring language skills in childhood and we spend many hours learning how to read and write in school. If you've been to college, you've taken additional English courses. Do you have confidence in your writing skills? For many people, the answer is no. The sad fact is that despite years of workbook exercises, grammar tests, and essay assignments, many people continue to feel anxious about writing tasks. Businesses, government agencies, and nonprofits say they're seeing more writing problems than ever before. We're experiencing a writing crisis. I've seen these problems many times during my years as an English instructor and a professional writer and editor. I've watched my students struggle, and I've faced some challenges of my own in graduate school and the publishing industry. Over time, though, my writing and teaching started to get better. I discovered strategies for successful writing that didn't require sentence diagrams or workbook exercises. I learned that writing is about showcasing your personality, knowledge, achievements, and projects. How do you accomplish this? By learning strategies for planning a writing task, organizing your ideas and information, and presenting your best points. You learn that effective writers don't just string their sentences together. They manage a writing task step by step. Understanding how the parts of an essay or report work together helps you tackle writing tasks with confidence, showcase yourself and what you know, and get ready for new writing challenges. The A block connects you to your readers. In your first paragraph, you draw your readers into your topic and state your position or point of view. The B block is where you develop your ideas. This is your opportunity to showcase yourself, what you know, what you think, what you can do. The C block wraps up your writing task. You restate your main point and point your readers to the future. How can they apply what they've learned from you? What lies ahead? Strategies for effective writing aren't hard to learn. Remember, you've been using language all your life. You already have a strong language foundation. But what about grammar? Surely you have to master concepts like antecedents, case and number, adverbial clauses, copulative verbs, adjectival phrases. No, you don't. Professional writers don't circle clauses in underlined phrases, and you shouldn't either. Experienced writers know some useful tricks for solving sentence and usage problems. You can learn those tricks, too. Here's one. Many sentences have loud and soft elements that can help you insert commas. Let's try an example. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to intercept the shipment. Read the example aloud. Can you hear the cons commas? Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to intercept the shipment. Now try this one yourself. Be sure to read it aloud before you try the commas. My cousin Alec, who grew up in Quebec, has been helping me with my French homework. Did you listen for the loud and soft elements? My cousin Alec, who grew up in Quebec, has been helping me with my French homework. Traditional grammar books make these sentences seem complicated with bewildering terms like restrictive and non-restrictive clauses. But you've been doing loud and soft parts of sentences all your life. You can master English usage by building on what you already know. Start listening to yourself and others talking. Can you hear the parts of sentences? Let's look at another trick. This one involves the beginning of sentences. The first part of a sentence is packed with information. Looking there can often tell you whether you have a sentence or a fragment. Can you tell which of these word groups are sentences and which are fragments? Hint, look at the beginning. Charlene and I went to the dance but didn't stay long. 
went to the dance but didn't stay long because the band didn't sound good. The band didn't sound good. Sentences almost always start with a person, place, or thing. Fragments start with other words. Here are the answers. Charlene and I went to the dance but didn't stay long. That's a sentence. Went to the dance but didn't stay long. That's a fragment. Because the band didn't sound good. Another fragment. The band didn't sound good. That's a sentence. How did you do? Here's another way to use this look at the beginning trick. Let's try to figure out this sentence. The procedure for dispensing prescription medicines need to be updated. Or should it be, the procedure for dispensing prescription medicines needs to be updated, which is correct. Look at the beginning of the sentence and you can figure it out. The procedure needs to be updated. You can also call upon your thinking skills to answer questions like this one. What needs updating, the medicines or the procedure? There's nothing wrong with the medicines. The procedure needs to be changed. So here's our correct sentence. The procedure for dispensing prescription medicines needs to be updated. It really works. Chances are you weren't taught these common sense writing tricks in school. I wasn't either. The teaching of writing has a long tradition going back to Roman times. 2,000 years later, many textbooks and curriculums still approach writing the way Julius Caesar and Marcus Aurelius did. But changes are coming. Many teachers and writers are trying a fresh approach. You can learn more, much more, in my book, What Your English Teacher Didn't Tell You. Go to Amazon.com for a free preview. Here are some comments from reviewers. And take a look at the free online resources I've created. You can view the How to Write an Essay series at planyourpaper.com. And you can view the Writing Your Research Paper series at researchpapersteps.com. Remember to check out the free resources at writewithgene.com. Best wishes for your writing success.